make sure you get a grown up to help you hit subscribe. That way, you won't miss out on any of the new videos that come out. Ozzy is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day kids, Ozzy here. I'm super excited because in today's episode, we're gonna be learning about construction vehicles or diggers. And there are so many different types of construction vehicles and diggers, so we're gonna focus on my favorite, which is excavators. We're gonna start with some of the basic facts about excavators, and then, you guessed it, we're gonna go along and visit a real life excavator. And if we're lucky, I might even get to show you inside and see how they work. And then, we're gonna sit down together and read a book about diggers. Let's get stuck in. So excavators can have either wheels or tracks. This one here is a track excavator. So let's have a look at all the different parts it has. So those things on the bottom, it's called the tracks. And that's what drives the excavator forwards and backwards and over really uneven and bumpy ground. The bit at the back, that's the engine. And then that right in the middle, that's the cab. That's where the driver sits and that's where there's lots and lots of different controls to make the excavator move forwards and backwards and make that big arm at the front go out and come back in and make that bucket pick up and empty the dirt. So that big arm that comes off the front of the excavator, that's broken down into different parts as well. There's the boom, the hydraulic cylinders, the dipper, and then that thing right on the end, that's called the bucket. And that's what we use to scoop up the dirt or the material when you're on the building site. So excavators like this one are used on building sites to dig in the ground and move heavy objects and material. And they come with all sorts of different attachments on the front to help out with that. So we know that thing on the front is called a bucket, but there's different types of buckets as well. Some are smooth and that's for finishing jobs. And then ones like this one they have teeth on the front and that's used for crushing up and breaking rocks and material. Then we have this one here. That's called an auger, and it's like a big drill bit which drills holes into the ground. Now this pointy one, that's called a breaker, and that's used to break big heavy objects and rocks. And then this one here, that's called a clamp, and that's to pick up big heavy rocks and heavy materials and move them from one place to the other. So excavators can come in lots of different sizes, from the smaller ones, which are about 1.5 tonnes, through to this gigantic one, which is about 900 tonnes. Wowzers, how big is that? Excavators are probably the most popular type of diggers because of what they do, and that's dig. So I think it's time we stop talking about diggers and we go and find a real life one and check out all the awesome things it can do. Come on, let's go. Ozzy is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day kids, Ozzy here. Now I'm super excited about this one, and I know you will be too, because I know a lot of you love diggers. That's right, check out all this equipment behind me. I've come down to a place called MCS Civil, and they have all sorts of construction equipment, lots of big diggers and rollers and water tanks, but we're gonna focus on this one today, and that's an eight ton excavator. That's right, it's just a really big digger. We're gonna get up close and personal, and Ozzy is even gonna drive it. So why don't we go and get stuck in? But before we do, safety first of course, I need to get into my safety gear. So, I've got the two important things, a hard hat and a high-vis shirt. Let's go and take a closer look. So kids, come with me and let's check out the outside of the digger and we'll check out all the different parts. So these diggers don't have wheels, they have these, which are called tracks. And that's what helps the digger drive forwards and backwards. We've got some mirrors so that we can see where we're going when we're driving. Now this big thing here, this big arm, 
That's called a boom up to here. And then the end of it is called a dipper. And at the end of the dipper is a bucket. And that arm is controlled by these hydraulic cylinders. Now this thing, this bucket, this particular one is called a mud bucket. And that's because it's really big and it can pick up lots and lots of dirt. Then it's got this smooth edge because it's used for finishing and getting a nice smooth finish on the surface of the job that you're working on. We also have buckets that have really big teeth on the end and they're used for breaking rocks and digging big holes. Let's go and see what else we can find. Check this thing out. This thing's called a blade. It's like a mini bulldozer, isn't it? And that's used for pushing the dirt and materials forward. So this side is another track and that's used for driving us forwards and backwards. Now this big thing here, that's called the cab. And that's where the driver sits and uses all those different controls to make the bucket go up and down, the arm move left and right. We'll get into detail in a minute. But let's check out the rest. On the back here, we've got some safety features. We've got the flashing light at the top. We've got a camera so that you can see what's behind you when you're driving. And a really important one, that's the safety stop button. So if anything's going wrong, bang, you hit that and everything shuts down and you'll be safe. And then of course at the back here, that's where the engine sits. And that's what drives and keeps this beautiful digger going. So should we get inside, see if we can give it a drive? Let's go. Safety first, kids. Put this thing down. Let's go. Woohoo! How cool is this? So there's so many different controls in this cab. You can see that one that I was holding with my left hand made the cab go to the right. And if I went the other way, it would go back to the left. This one, that's gonna make the arm go up and down and the bucket go tilt back or tilt forwards. Let's see it in action. Look at that, so I'm gonna reach out and I'm gonna see if I can grab that big bit of dirt there. So kids, I've just picked up a big lot of dirt and I need to move it back around this way to make sure the vehicle is nice and sturdy. All right, so now with that facing forward, we're a whole lot more stable. So to drive it forwards, we just need to push these two handles here, which you can also do with your feet. How cool is that? That way we can have our hands on the handles and our feet on the pedals. And then when we've got it to where we need to be, we're just gonna use our hands and we're gonna push the bucket and the arm out and we're gonna dump it out onto the ground. And how cool is that? We've moved the arm and the bucket. And we've moved some dirt. Hey, how much fun is that? This control on the left hand here, if I push it to the right, it's gonna spin the whole cab around to the right. And if I push it the other way, which is our left, it's gonna spin to the left. And then this control on my right hand, if I pull it up, it's gonna make that arm go up, up, up into the air, just like that. And I can push this left hand out and it makes the bucket go out and I pull it down and it makes the bucket 
Come back in. And push this one down, makes it go down. And remember, with our feet, we can drive forward. And I'm gonna reach out and pick up some more dirt. Okay kids, so we've seen how that boom and the dipper and the bucket, which makes the big arm of the excavator, we've seen how that works and moves the dirt around. I'm gonna show you now using this lever, how we operate the blade. So we're gonna push the lever down and then using these two handles, we can move the excavator forward and that pushes the dirt makes it nice and smooth and flat. Look at all that dirt. So we're using it almost like a bulldozer. And then when it's where we need it to be, we can just move backwards, always making sure we have a look in the camera and our mirrors to make sure that there's no one around us. Because safety first always, kids. So I'll show you again, just with that blade, down like that. And we wanna go forwards. Just like a mini bulldozer, look at all that dirt that we're pushing forwards, pushing it, and making the ground nice and flat. How cool is this? So much fun driving a big digger like this. So who wants to be a construction worker when they're older and drive big diggers like this? It's so much fun. Big thank you to MCS Civil for allowing Aussie to come down and teach you kids all about this awesome digger. See you on our next video. Until then, stay keen.
Ozzy, 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 Ozzy is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day kids, Ozzy here. So we've learnt lots of things about diggers and construction vehicles and I even got to drive a big excavator and show you all those controls inside and all the cool things it can do. Now we're going to read a book together, it's called Roadworks and there's lots and lots of different construction vehicles inside it and if you look closely you'll find that excavator just like the one that Ozzy got to drive. Let's have a look. Roadworks by Sally Sutton and illustrated by Brian Lovelock. Plan the road, plan the road, mark it on the map, hammer in the marking pegs, ping, bang, tap. You see all the workers banging in the marking pegs so that the big excavator can come along and do its job. Move the earth, move the earth, dig and cut and push. Clear a pathway for the road. Screech, boom, whoosh. Look at all these construction vehicles. We've got an excavator and a dump truck and a bulldozer and a front end loader. There's lots of vehicles, isn't there? Load the dirt, load the dirt, scoop and swing and drop. Slam it down into the truck. Bump, wump, whop. You see the big digger, the big excavator picking up the dirt, and dropping it into the back of the dump truck. How cool. Tip the stones, tip the stones, lift and slide and dump. Lay the groundwork for the road. Crash, roar, thump. There's the bulldozer pushing the stones and the dump truck dumping them down. So cool. Pack the ground, pack the ground, roll one way then back. Make the road bed good and hard. Clang, crunch, crack. So we've got a roller over here. And we've got a grader over here. Seal the road, seal the road, make it hot and squishy. Spread the sticky tar and stones. Sploshy, splashy, splishy. You can see the workers down here pushing the tar back and forth. The dump truck and the truck that brings the tar. Roll the tar, roll the tar, make it firm and flat. Squash it down and press it out. Squelch, spluck, splat. And this job is for the big roller to make it nice and flat. Stop the work, stop the work. Time to break for lunch. Sandwiches and drinks and fruit. Gulp, slurp, crunch. Because you need to keep your energy levels up, don't you? So you need to make sure that you have your food and your drink so you can keep working hard all day. Mark the road, mark the road, give the paint a squirt. Paint the lines in nice and straight. Whiz, blop, splurt. You see the workers painting in the lines and the arrows? That way the cars know where to drive when they go on the road. Raise the signs, raise the signs. Drag and hoist and ram. Force them down into their holes. Thwack, whop, wham. You've got this big crane that sits on the back of the truck that's able to lift the signs nice and high and put them in place. Light the road, light the road. No one wants a crash. Test the lights and see them shine. Flick, flack, flash. You see they're putting the street lights down the side of the road so the cars know where to go when they're driving at night. Plant the trees, plant the trees. Dig and stamp and lug. Water them to help them grow. Drip, drop, glug. Making the side of the road nice and green. Tidy up, tidy up. Lift and load and sweep. Drive away those big machines. Swish, chug, beep. But all our big construction vehicles 
heading home, they've finished their job, and there's our excavator on the back of the truck. Shout hooray, the work is done. Ready now? Let's zoom. Drive along your brand new road. Toot, honk, vroom. How exciting. All those construction vehicles working together to make the new road for the cars. Heaps of fun. Hope you kids enjoyed it. We'll see you on our next video. And until then, as always, stay keen. Make sure you get a grown up to help you hit subscribe. That way, you won't miss out on any of the new videos that come out. And did you happen to find the hidden Aussie icon in that video? Make sure you look really closely because they're in every single video. And we'll see you again soon. Until then, stay keen. Don't forget to follow Aussie on our social channels at Aussie for Kids. Feel free to send us some ideas on what you want to learn about next. What sports you'd like to play, jobs you want Aussie to feature, vehicles you're fascinated with, or any subjects you'd like to know more about. I'm just as keen as you, so together, let's learn more. And if you've got any friends that you think might like Aussie, don't forget to tell them too. See you next time, kids. Until then, stay keen. Ozzy is a friend of yours and he's a friend of